Welcome to the channel. Well, for several years now in X-Plane and more recently in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, pop-out windows have been a real boon for home cockpits. Complex glass nav displays like the G1000 you see here could be popped out from the simulator into a 2D window and dragged to another monitor for use in a cockpit layout. Here the nav windows have been positioned behind an air manager panel with transparent openings. While the result is very realistic, it is a bit difficult to manage. The popped out windows need to be positioned correctly and if the alignment is disturbed, the illusion is lost. I'm happy to tell you that with the upcoming Air Manager version 4.2, we can put all of this behind us. Well, at least on X-Plane 12 we can. In this video I'm going to tell you why this works better than you can probably imagine and how we can put the pressure on Asobo and Microsoft to make this technology available for Microsoft Flight Simulator. In X-Plane a simple click pops the window up into a in-game 2D window and a second click in the upper right corner makes it into a movable window which can be dragged to another monitor. Once correctly sized and aligned, the Air Manager panel is brought to the foreground making all of its controls available. It really does give a great result. More and more simmers have been adopting touchscreen cockpits using programs like Air Manager. So when Microsoft Flight Simulator launched their new program without this feature, there was a lot of pressure from the users to implement it, and they did. The result has been a proliferation of really cool cockpits using the pop-out windows from Microsoft Flight Simulator. And by using Air Manager panels as overlays, they're fully functional without having to use mouse or keyboard. It works, but it's still a bit difficult aligning things correctly. Thanks to a brilliant user who has developed a program called the MSFS Pop-Out Window Manager, available on GitHub at the address you see, this has been simplified into an automated process. Still, the solution is not optimum and is a bit of a hack. So let's close the old pop-out version and look at the new solution available through X-Plane 12 and Air Manager. Since the Air Manager instrument itself contains a virtual video screen, you just need to open it and it is automatically there. No need for transparency or layers. The screen is actually part of the instrument. I only had to add one line of code to this instrument to set this up, basically telling it where on the instrument I wanted the video to be displayed, and also what texture I wanted to have displayed on the instrument. It was that simple. The cool thing is that once this is part of the instrument, there's no reason for layers, transparency, and you can move this around at will. And if you want to resize the instrument, you can do that in real time in the layout window and you don't even have to shut the program down. You can resize it as it's running. Now you can't see the resizing here, but uh, whenever you release the mouse wherever you've gone, it ends up there. And you can see me moving it around here. I can see it moving in real time on the layout window. I can even double click to make it fill the space as a feature of uh, Air Manager's panel layout tools. So I hope you can see the benefit of this. It really makes it a lot simpler, and it's the way it should have worked from the beginning. But uh, the technology wasn't there because the textures for these uh, video windows in X-Plane were not readily accessible. They were in a position where you could find them eventually, but they didn't have consistent names and to be brought out through the API and to use them someplace else. And this is what needs to happen at Asobo at uh, Microsoft for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this is pretty cool. I think you'd admit it's really a useful tool and it's the way we would like it to work. But there's one more feature that's even more amazing. I'm going to share that with you now. The cool thing is that this can be this streaming can occur over a local area network. It can occur over Wi-Fi or Ethernet so that you could actually run the panel on a computer that doesn't have the simulator. Since we were dragging popped out windows, of course the uh, monitor displaying it had to be attached uh, to the computer running the flight simulator. We often didn't even have enough graphic ports to manage that. Well that's been solved now. And let me show you a computer on my system running this popped out window. 
I'm going to show you a window on another computer in my house running only Air Manager and running the same instrument that I was demoing on the machine running with the simulator. I'm going to side by side this video with uh, the simulator image off the other computer so you can see how well they sync up and how well this works. Now the possibilities are myriad for this. If you can imagine now, uh, the iPad versions and tablet versions of Air Manager are going to be able to stream video from other instruments right into that. That's been a limitation, is that you couldn't uh, stream the pop-out windows, but that's going to be available. And you can run a computer just with Air Manager, a low-powered computer, and uh, show all these beautiful pop-out instruments right on that. So the, this is going to open up a lot of possibilities for developing new things on even devices like uh, the Raspberry Pi. We should be able to develop uh, standalone G1000s, for example, where the Raspberry Pi could handle both the hardware, uh, button controls, and uh, the video streaming signal, all without the need for any connections physically uh, to the simulator carrying video signals. So here's where I need your help. This could work very easily on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2. If they would only add to the API the ability to uh, reach these, uh, to access these textures, uh, Air Manager uh, programmer Koran uh, said he could do that easily uh, if he just had access to that through the API. Now I don't know if we need to talk to a Sobo, Microsoft, or Working Title, but I wish you'd share this video with people if you think this is cool and also flood them with uh, messages on the message, message boards, uh, give them a call, what, however you can contact them to try to uh, bring interest to this so that we could add this feature to Microsoft Flight Simulator. The title of this video was designed to grab your attention, but this really is one thing that right now X-Plane 12 can do that Microsoft Flight Simulator can't. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, and I love to hear your comments.